Hello and welcome to another episode of PingCast. In this episode, I'm going to tell you about two other docs you can get for your system. In my last video, I showed you around Docky. In this video, I'm going to show you around Avent Window Navigator and Cairo Dock. To install the docs, go to your Ubuntu Software Center and search for them. I already have them installed. Just go here, you'd click install if you didn't have it install. Same thing as Cairo Doc. Now 11.10 seems to have a problem with Doc. You click, quit, and you get this kind of frozen stuck there. Just press Alt F2 and type in kill all docky and hit enter. Alright. You just click there. You can have your you have your icon sizes. Click on preferences if you want to change the behavior. You have different uh, orientations. You can make it 3D or uh, curved, which is looks pretty nice. Change the effects. Get something fancy like the 3D spotlight turn. Change the themes. Uh, they sometimes change the uh, what is it? The style. You can add applets like a system monitor, it will monitor your CPU, a menu, CPU frequency, you can also go to preferences, it controls each core. Or uh, it controls one core at a time, so you may, if you're going to change your frequency, you may want one for each core. Garbage. Hardware sensors, it can tell you. You may want Fahrenheit. It can tell you uh, all this good stuff V core voltage or different temperatures, your CPU temperature. or your motherboard temperature. If you want to add an icon, go to Task Manager. If you click Add, you got to find your icon, get to type in your name, your description, and command. If you don't want to do that, which I personally don't, go to a menu, find the thing you want to add, click, drag it, drop it, and it's added. If you want to remove it, just go to Task Manager, click on the uh, icon, click remove. Alright, that's all for Avent Window Navigator. Now I'm going to show you Cairo Doc. You can do it with OpenGL. OpenGL is basically the is our equivalent to DirectX. Here you have fancy effects. I click on does a little fireworks thing. Right click, go to Cairo Doc, configure if you want to change the behavior. Now, if you're coming off of a Mac, you might want to use this, and that's because not only can you make it look like a Mac, but it can also behave like a Mac. Let's see, Firefox gets a little Safari icon. There's a lot more to configure with this dock. It has quite a bit of stuff on it. Now the, the applets, they can be detached from a dock or you can have them on the dock. I think you can have a stacks on this one too. Uh, the last one could also do stacks. So yeah, that's
that's Cairo Doc. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of TeenCast, all about some extra docs you can get for your system. Stay tuned for the next episode.